Do any of you believe it is prudent to purchase one unit of power generated through solar at 50 rupees? Ordinary citizens believe that power generated through renewables such as solar and wind cost less. But according to your cabinet paper, a unit of power is 50 rupees. I am not for thermal, but today the price of thermal power is only 22 rupees. If so, how can solar power cost 50 rupees? Are the engineers the ones earning commissions? It is not them. Who is truly behind this? Tenders have been not called for these either. Anything can be said within the parliament. I challenge him to move court if there are any allegations concerning coal or fuel against me, the president or the government over the past 18 months. If he backs himself up with facts, I will be present at a public debate with him. There is no file where they have filed court cases. MP Anra Kumara Disanayaka responded to the challenge today. I spoke about the energy sector yesterday. The minister has invited me for a debate. Our party is willing to accept it. Let's discuss whether it is him or us who know the most about the CEB. He is already due one debate with us because on a prior occasion he raised a matter regarding our comrade Vasanta Samarasinghe. Even he is ready. We are ready to hold a successful debate on deals concerning fuel, coal, solar and so on. I have received a text message from News First regarding a statement Anuradhi Sanayaka had made when I was absent from the chamber. It says Anurakumar Sanayaka has accepted the challenge I made over a debate. According to News First, he has accepted the challenge, therefore I am ready too. I wish to invite Sirasa to organize this debate. I will join it. But when I was on the way to parliament, what I heard was that his party had accepted the challenge and that Vasanta Samara Singh would be sent in his stead. If that is the case, I too will send a representative of mine because Vasanta Samar Singh is not even in parliament.